Hey, how's it going? Welcome back. Hope everyone is doing well heading into the holiday season. Uh, as often happens, I've got a stack of records here that I've picked up fairly recently. I've listened to them. I want to file them away, but I want to show them first. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, first thing we're going to show, uh, it's a band from Prince Edward Island, Canada's smallest province, located on the East Coast in the Maritimes. The band's called Null. Uh, the release is called Devour. And it comes on a VHS tape. It's kind of unusual, but kind of cool. Uh, it's a short film with Noel doing the music. What's the short film about, you might ask? Well, I'll tell you. Cold, disoriented, and alone, a man awakens from the deep snow only to find himself running from something. But what? Yeah, it pretty much sums it up. Noel's doing the music. Uh, what you get there is well-produced, really well-played, heavy, metallic hardcore. Um, there's a little bit of a New York feel, a New York hardcore feel to it. Um, there's even more of kind of a noise rock feel to it at times. Um, maybe like something you'd find on, you know, Amphetamine Reptile, uh, in the 90s or whatever. Um, yeah, it's really, really well done. Yeah, vocals, sounds like somebody strangling a very large bear, which is usually good in my books. But don't strangle bears, kids. Um, Yeah. Uh, I don't know if you'll be able to get this, because it was probably released in pretty limited quantities, I'm guessing. But I know they have other stuff. I'll leave a link to their band camp in the description. You can check them out, and if you like them, you can go from there. Um, yeah, pretty neat. VHS. <clears throat> I kind of, owe, uh, kind of owe an apology to this band, because I told them I'd show this quite a while ago, and I, I watched it, I stuck it on my shelf, and I totally forgot it was there. It happens to people that at an advanced age such as mine. But uh, better late than never, I suppose. So yeah, check it out. No. Now we're going to stay in the Maritimes, but we're going to go to Halifax, Nova Scotia. Uh, I discussed this band a few uh, a few videos ago. I showed their 7-inch. I said I would show the 12-inch when it arrived, and it has arrived. Mutated Void. It's the Roses Forever 12-inch on Iron Lung Records. Ugly, 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 ugly hardcore. So good. Uh, vocals sound like they're vomiting and shrieking at the same time. Um, there's almost kind of an ethereal kind of feel to the vocals too, which I find kind of cool. Um, musically, like I said, ugly, hardcore, borders on grindcore now and again, but not that much. Um, yeah, it's just super good. This is in my top three, um, for the year for sure, uh, alongside Night Feeder and Savage Heads. Yeah, this is right up there. Like, if you like just ugly, disgusting hardcore, this is what you want to get. I, th I think they're a two-piece. Um, I know Cody, who's in the Bougie Boys and Misanthropic Minds and 182 other projects, is in this. Uh, and there's another guy who's in Fragment and Concrete Asylum and 123 other projects. So, uh, yeah, if, if you like just noisy, dirty-sounding, you know, up-tempo, crazy hardcore... Mutated Void is definitely for you. Next up, Scramble Records. Not even going to talk about this band much because uh, I've talked about them at length several times, but Totalitar, it's an LP. It's uh, 1998 to 2002. It's just the five seven inches that came out in that time period. Uh, I have all five of those records, but it's nice to have them in one place, and I will always buy a new Totalitar record, but... Yeah, just perfectly played Swedish hardcore. Kind of D-beat, kind of not. Definitely perfect. Great band, Totalitar. Next, we're going to Finland. This was originally released as a cassette in 1986, but a bank or a label called Finnish Hardcore has seen fit to uh, to reissue it as a 12-inch, and I've got it. It's Poyasaka, Kiritusta ja Palkoa. Uh, yeah, it just it sounds like old Finnish hardcore. Um, you know, it's fundamentally rooted, I would say, in like you know UK eighty two stuff. Um, but it's got that like old Finnish hardcore vocals kind of have this this weird like bleak feel to them, and they're kind of nasally the way they're put across. Um, and this is no exception. This is really good. I I think the singer used to sing for this other band called Malaka that I enjoy quite a bit. 
But, uh, but yeah, I, I mean, if you're into <clears throat> to old Finnish hardcore, like, you know, Restitit and Destructions and Appendix and stuff like that, and Chaos, or Chaos, as they call it, but, yeah, you'll you'll totally like this. So, yeah, Poyasaka. <clears throat> Staying in Finland, but a newer band. Iliset Suit. It's uh, Toisten Todelisus. It's a... Uh, Jointly released by Sorry State Records and La Vida Esu Moose. Uh, I showed their second 7-inch a while back. Um, this just has... They have two 7-inches, and this is just a 12-inch with both of those on it. Um, this is like steamrolling, you know, just modern Finnish hardcore punk. Uh, it's kind of hard to not want to move when this is playing. It's just total head nodding, like kick, kick the walls down kind of hardcore. Um, people in here played in a bunch of different bands, most notably like Foreseen and, uh, Koti Tuhoa. But yeah, this is, this is super good. I look forward to, uh, to them releasing more stuff because, uh, the stuff I've heard so far is, is really, really good. So, uh, yeah. Elisa Tsut. The drumming in that band is really strange. It's, he's got an odd style. It's, it's totally competent and solid, but he's got this kind of abrupt... Like, he'll, he'll start and end fills, like, where it doesn't sound like they should be started and, and ended. You know, it's, it's weird. It's good shit. Listen to it. All right, going back to 1981. Canadian pressing of this on Stiff Canada. Won't discuss the band much because I've talked about them a million times, but Plasmatics. I got a copy of uh, Beyond the Valley of 1984. Like I said, came out in 1981 on Stiff Canada. It is the gatefold. I'm pretty sure we all know what the plasmatics sound like. Kind of cartoony metal punk with Bullwinkle doing vocals. Yeah. Got it from a guy on Facebook who was selling it cheap. Didn't want to pass it up because I didn't have it. All right, now we go to uh, 1986. It's a uh, fantastic Dutch hardcore band. This released by Alternative Tentacles. BGK. Nothing can go wrong. Um... Yeah, this is fantastic. Love this band for years. I just never actually had a copy of this record. Um, like I said, Dutch band, uh, well above average um, as far as musicianship goes. Like the bass player in this band is fucking awesome. The drumming's really, really good as well. Uh, vocalist, he's just kind of got a, he's got kind of just a, not really deep, but not a high pitch. He's like right in the middle there. He's it's It's almost a monotone, but not, in a way that makes it uninteresting. Um, but the way he like kind of trails his lines off kind of reminds me of Wadi from the Exploited in a weird way. But, uh, but yeah, this is this is a great band. And uh, I mean, if you're a fan of 80s hardcore, you're probably familiar with them already. But if you're not, yeah, maybe check them out. I'll definitely put a link, as I always do. Uh, now we go to, uh, another one from 86, but this is an Italian hardcore band. It's, uh, Indigesti, Indigesti, Os what is it, Osservati Dalingano. It's on, uh, a label called TVOR on vinyl. This is amazing. It's a great, great, great Italian hardcore record. I know, uh, Eric over at High Defamation TV got a copy of this a while back, and he gushed about it, as I'm going to do. Um... This just sounds youthful. Like, you can tell the dudes that made it were really young at the time. Uh, the singer goes through puberty constantly on this. Kind of sounds like maybe a, a young Italian version of HR or something. Like, he's got that squeaky thing going on. Um, the drums are super, like, ramshackle sounding. Like, they're almost falling apart, but yet they don't. And the guitar the guitar playing is, is pretty similar in that respect. It's just, it's just kind of nonsensey, but... At the same time, it isn't. There's a, there's a lot going on here, and you can tell they knew what they were doing, but yet they didn't know what they were doing, if that makes sense. Super, super good record. One of my uh, my favorite early Italian bands. It's right up there with, like, Wretched, and I Refuse It, and stuff like that. But uh, glad to have a copy. Uh, a friend of mine was was doing a kind of a set sale, and I seen that he, he was selling this, so I jumped right on it and grabbed it. So yeah, Indigesti. Osservati Dalingano. We go to uh, 1988, Vancouver, British Columbia. 
but uh, the record's on a, a British label. It's on Manic Ears. It's a band called Adversity. The record's called Lost It All. This is pretty much a textbook crossover record. Um, yeah, as, as soon as they start playing, you're like, meh, this is a textbook crossover record. Vocalist sounds a lot like the guy from Beyond Possession, which is not necessarily a bad thing. The problem with this record is the production. It's It's got this thin, scratchy, weird production that kind of, it's kind of distracting. I feel that uh, if, if you know, somebody released this, um, you know, remastered version of it or something, I feel it would be a lot better. But uh, I think that most people who are, who are really into this genre, when they listen to it, they'd be like, eh, it's okay, but it'd be better with better production. And I would have to agree. But uh, yeah, Adversity. I know nothing about this band. I, I never really heard of them back in the day. And it was only till maybe 15, 20 years ago that I heard about them. And we're going to stay in 1988 for the last record I'm going to show. It's a band from Seattle called AMQA. It stands for Apple Maggot Quarantine Area. This is the Mutant Cats from Hell LP. It's uh, jointly rele released between Medusa and Everrat Records. This is a... Uh, it's like a metal punk record. Like, it, it, there's double bass on this and shit. Um, but... The rest of it is more on the on the hardcore punk side of town. the uh, The first song reminds me a lot of Anti Schism off the first uh, off their first seven inch. Um, the vocalist just keeps fucking going like rambling vocal. I, I don't even see where he's able to breathe in between lines. Um, but yeah, this is really good. Scratchy, just kind of you know, kind of ugly, not over the top, but just definitely pretty good. Kind of surprised I ignored this back in the day, but I just thought it would be goofier than it is with a with a name like Apple Maggot Quarantine Area. Uh, I know members of this band went on to be in, in Seaweed and uh, Portraits of Poverty and a few a few others that I'm not familiar with, but uh, but yeah, this this record's actually a lot better than I, than I expected it to be. I, I've been aware of it since since it came out, pretty much. I just never really bothered with it because, like I said, I thought it'd be a little too goofy for me. But whatever, Apple Maggot Quarantine Area. The pride of Seattle. So, uh, yeah. Right on. We're heading into the, to the holiday season, which means I get time off work. Friday, I'm off at noon, and I'm not back till the 3rd. So, I will do more videos, hopefully. I won't be that busy. So, yeah. Whatever. We'll see you next time.